welcome back to part seven of our series on how to design a small house in Homestyler. Uh, at this point, we have our bedrooms completed. We've done a bathroom, we've done a kitchen, we've done the little dining room. So really, only, essentially, only have only have the living room left to to address. So that is what this video will cover. This area right in here. So when we think about a living room, we think about what furniture we might want to put in it. Um, also, you know, remember. We are kind of putting windows in this house based upon furnishings and uh, it's really not the right way to do it, but it is a way we're going to do it in this particular design. So uh, just uh, go with it with me. Okay. So um, we're going to start out with uh, finding somewhere to sit. And so let's go ahead over to our catalog and then let's go to living room and let's look at uh, sofa sets because I want something kind of bigger. And I'm gonna try to find something that will you know, seat a lot of people. So let's look at uh, something like this one, I think. Uh, this is a four piece sectional. Uh, I'll go ahead and go with that. And then my idea here is that we're gonna use the sofa to kind of make a boundary between spaces. And the space we're gonna to try to make a boundary between is this dining room area and kitchen area uh, and the living room. So I want my sofa, to, the back of my sofa to kind of turn this way. That also opens this up a little bit to where you would enter from. And then I'm just gonna go right up against the wall or close to the wall right here. I'm leaving about, uh, I'd say about four foot four. That's a pretty good space behind there to get around. And uh, also gives us some space in front of the sofa that we can do some work with. The next thing we're gonna do is, I don't know about you, but I like to have a TV in my living room. So let's go over to our catalog. And I'm just going to use the magnifying glass. I'm going to type in TV, click on the magnifying glass again, and let's go down. We've already done a TV before, so this should be something uh, that's not new to you. I want to find, remember, money's no object when it comes to home stylish. Let's go ahead and put a 65 inch television in there. So I click over here and then I look, I can see this is the front of my TV right here. So I'm just going to rotate this around. And then I'm going to try to line it up with the uh, sofa. See how I slide it down and just kind of picks the middle of that. Then I can go straight back from there. Okay, so uh, I have a TV there and let's take a quick peek in 3D. And you can see that, uh, first of all, the TV's on the ground. So we got to fix that. Let's pull it up a little bit. And I want to have something where I can put all of my components. Like um, if I were to have, you know, a, a satellite TV box or a cable box, you know, anything like that. We're going to want to put it down here, any video game systems and that sort of stuff. We want to have a way we can we can kind of uh, store that stuff. So let's go back. Let's go back to our catalog and let's look in the living room and then let's look at console tables. And that will give us what we want, I think. So let's kind of scroll through here and let's see what we can find. There's a lot of open ones. I'm looking for it. There we go. That's I think this is this will be a good one for us right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go right over here with it. I just did it right in 3d. You can do that. Sometimes you can just, you know, manipulate your models in 3d. So I'll, I'm going to get out of the three, out of, out of uh, 3d though at this point, make sure my model is, is lined up properly. So I'm just, of course, remember I'm using my mouse to, to pan around. I'm just holding the, the left button and holding down and moving my mouse. That's how you pan. And all I'm going to do is try to you know, get this aligned. I drag it down a little bit. We, we want to get centered on the television. So I kind of click over the television and now it's in the center of that. I just move right up against the wall. And now we should have, and looking in 3D, we have, oh wow, whoops. Still had it selected, gotta be careful. So when I have deselected, you can see, I think our TV is about a little bit high. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we're moving right along. We have somewhere to sit, we have something to do. So other things we're gonna need uh, at this point, we need a, probably a rug. How about some end tables, um, windows, that sort of thing. So let's go to living room again. And uh, I'd rather go over here where it says catalog. And then when you see living room, I'm gonna come down here to, I want like an end table for these sofas. We'll call them side tables. And uh, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna scroll through here and see if we can find something that would be a good fit for this. A lot of these are kind of open right there. That is a good one. That is, um, that it's just kind of a small table. So I'll put one here and I'll put one, uh, I click it a second time and I'll put one over here. 
and I'm just going to go back to uh, the 2D. And I'm just going to move this table. Uh, I'm moving away from the wall a little bit because my idea is to put like, kind of a lamp on there or something. Uh, same with this one, this table. We're going to move it kind of to the end there. Close to this. Of course, remember you can use your um, you can use your your keyboard also to uh, to do you know a little bit of movement on there if you want to kind of fine tune it without your mouse. So I think those tables are in a good spot. Uh, let me take a look and make sure that it's the front of the tables is the right way. I didn't really take note of that very much. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think these are the same all the way around. I don't think there is a front. I don't think there's a drawer on this. I think it's just somewhere where you would place a lamp. So I think we're gonna go with that. That'll be okay. Uh, coming back, let's let's find ourselves a lamp to um, to get on there. Actually, I'm going to go back to my catalog. I'm just going to click right here on the magnifying glass and type in lamp. L-A-M-P. Click the magnifying glass and let's see what we can find. This looks nice right here. I'm going to put a lot of effort into finding the right one. It's, this one will uh, kind of match the end table. So I'm going to go over here and you can see it kind of helps you line it up right on the, right on the table when you go over there. And sometimes, let me look in 3D, sometimes it puts that lamp right at the right height, right, and it did. See how it automatically um, put it at the right height? Now, I think if you if you hold your mouse on top of the, um, of the model, sometimes it knows you want to put it on top of the, uh, of the table, and it gets it at the right height. So, I think we should have some kind of an area of rug right here to kind of break the flooring up a little bit. So, let's just uh, go back to our catalog, and I'm just going to click in uh, Rug. And let's see what we get. There we go. I think this is a nice rug right here. Let's go ahead with this one. I'm not even going to resize this one. I think it looks about right. So I'm going to click right there for this rug. And then also looking at the front door, which is kind of close to here, I could see that um, you know when you walk in, you're either going to want you're going to want something to catch the dirt on your feet as you come into the, the uh, house. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these rugs right here. And I am going to um, come over here and proportionately scale it down. So it's kind of the same color scheme, but more of a doormat um, kind of rug. That's the beauty of home style. You can just come up with what you want. And whether that, whether that, uh, that rug comes in a doormat size or not, we're going we're gonna to use it like that. So there we go. I'm going to get out of here again. Um, let's look at, uh, at the 3D. There we go. I'm, I'm sorry. At the 2D is what I meant to say. Yeah. All right. And then we'll go back to 3D. See how it looks. So this area looks so far. I think it's starting to come together. I think now would be a good time to put in some windows. So let's go ahead and do that. I like doing my windows in 2D and then kind of fine tuning them, tuning them in 3D. So let's go up to our create room. Go to my window, and I think I'm going to put a window right here. Yeah, a little, little natural light on that side. You can see we have two windows here already that look good. And one thing I want to do here is uh, with the doors, I'm not sure that they have a door that has. I'm going to look first, and if they don't, I'm just going to kind of fudge it, and I'll show you what I'm, what, what, what I'm talking about here. So if I go to doors, I'll go to single door. Um, I'm sorry. Let me go, let me go back to a uh, model library. And let's go to catalog and let's let's search for some doors because what I want is I want a door that will have a window kind of well I don't know what, what I'm doing on that one let's try let's try again let's just go to model library and I'm just gonna type in doors again or door let's try door again in model library so we come up there we go so here's a bunch of doors and um, oh barn doors they're kind of cool but that won't help us right here I'm really looking for a door that has kind of that's what i want see this door has a window kind of integrated with it that's what i was looking for i think that's what that is let me make sure yeah it kind of has a window attached to the side of it so i'm gonna i'm gonna come over here and i'm just gonna kind of get rid of that door and i'm gonna and we replace it with this door there we go and now when i look in here yeah it has a little a little bit of a window so you can kind of allow a little natural light and um we get to, let me get this away from the wall. It's right on the wall. So I want to move it a little bit away from the wall. At least six inches. Let's go six inches. There we go. And then I can move my rug over to match it. That's a lot better. So I kind of wanted a way that we could um, little natural light in without putting a, 
an actual window um, right next to the door. That's what I was thinking about doing, putting a window right up next to it if we didn't have one, but we found something that'll work. So uh, other windows, let's go back to the 2D and I've got a window here. I've got a window there. I think, I think we're good. I don't think we need any more windows in the front of this for now. Uh, I think, I think it's going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and finish up this area with maybe a little bit of artwork. Uh, let's go to, um, let's go to 3d and let's, let's put some paintings or something on here. So let's come over here and I'm going to type in paintings paintings magnifying glass and we've got lots of them and you know um in this video i'm not taking a lot of time to come up with like, specific paintings i'm just kind of doing placeholders and of course you guys are welcome to put whatever artwork you want on the walls i do not claim to be an interior designer but i do think it would look nice to have a, a painting on each side of that so let's pick another one and i go right there kind of yeah i think that needs to be smaller though remember when you're resizing artwork a lot of times you're going to want it to go proportionate scale otherwise it would look all all stretched out that's a little bit better i didn't want something that big next to the tv and move it over just a little bit there we go so i've got our work on that wall um i think i want something on this wall i literally am picking the very first painting that i can find and i'll make a proportionate scale i want this thing a little bit bigger right here there we go something like that and then um you know, this is a real plain wall here. We would probably want some artwork on this one. So let's uh, let's find some artwork to go on this wall. Actually thinking about getting a couple paintings to go here. If I can find a couple that are similar. Well, here, I'm just gonna put this one. Of course, this one, the um, elevation was too low. Yeah, and then maybe bicycle painting how about that a smaller picture we could put a couple small pictures like next to it i'll take this one and uh proportionate scale it that's kind of a common interior design thing where you put multiple uh pictures to kind of match up with the other one proportionately so we got our work on that wall this wall right here is kind of boring so i don't want to put a painting there so much let's try to put a um let's find a mirror for this this let's go to catalog and then living room let's see if there's there we go mirrors let's look at mirrors that might be oh this is exactly what i'm looking for right here we have kind of like a little sun looking mirror thing i might make it a little bit proportionate size and let's go a little bit bigger there we go that looks pretty cool right there and um let's just take a little little tour around this living room see what see what we think about it so uh for now we um we have all of the walls covered well, i think we have everything done on this it's a good living room uh, it looks good to me you know we could do some other things with seating and all but i think with the size of this room we want to leave it a little bit open like that so i think this will be um this will be good let's go back to 2d real quick you know yeah i think i think this is a good place to uh to leave off with this uh the design so we have all the furnishings in all the windows in and all we have to do at this point is um you know finish up some construction details and we're, we're getting close on this house so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time on part eight